It always starts with a message. Followed by some Googling hashtag sponsor me, please. <laughs> and then the fun part begins. So my one of my like Instagram friends, her name is Haley. She's ordering a sweater for her friend and she wanted it to be a Hello Kitty theme because her friend loves Hello Kitty. So first I designed three sketches on my little ideas that came to mind whenever she told me that. And she went with design number one, which is like this. And she wants it to be a regular like length. So that'll stop around the butt. I got on Stitch Fiddle, which I told you guys about before. Use that if you want to do like crochet um, pixel art or crochet tapestry. That's what it's called type things. So she told me that she didn't want the black in the sketch though. She just wanted different shades of pink. So here are the colors I got from Joann's. So we got three shades of pink and two white. That should be enough for this one. So now she said she wants the kitty to be dark pink with a light pink bow so that's what we're going for right there and i made um the width of the sweater already because i am working it horizontally so this is 60 inches uh, 60 stitches wide and then I want the sweater to be 25 inches long, approximately. So that'll be 50 half double crochet stitches, uh, half double crochet stitches up, because when I measured it, it's about half of an inch. Just hear me out. It's basically about half of an inch. And I can always just take off rows if I need to. But yeah, this is what we're working with now. So I'll meet y'all back once I reach the 16th row, which is where I start making the actual Hello Kitty. So I made the cat a little too small. So here I made it a little bigger and I'm just turning all the black parts into pink. And yeah, I'll probably clean it up a little bit too because I don't want it to be, I want it, I just wanted to be cleaner. <laughs> working on trying to stop explaining myself for every little thing so I do that a lot but I'm aware of it now so I'll fix it <laughs> I don't want it like this nose I'm just going to make it into a box I don't want that part there so we're gonna make that white and then I'm gonna make this more even I had to make the cat again, so I'm just gonna cut out the rest of this section and show y'all what the finished grid is, finally. So this is what the new finished design looked like. And by the way, I realized it was too small because I just counted the widest points of stitches and compared it to how many stitches it is here. So now I will do the same thing just to get an estimate on how big the cat will be. So I counted 36 stitches on here and 36 stitches, stitches, I keep saying stitches, 36 stitches is from there to there. So that's a good size compared to the whole strip of the back width. But yeah, now I'll actually start on the design. Just kidding. So I was stupid and I still had the length on 100 stitches and 100 stitches will be way too long for the cardigan. So I had to go back, change it back to 60 by 50. So here is the final cat design. <laughs> now we can actually get started. So we finally reached the end of the image in the middle. So I still have to do these white rows, but I am done with the image. Here's what the tapestry is looking like. And I just have to complete the back panel by making more rows, like I said before. But yeah, here's the kitty in the middle. Hey guys, so it has been a while since I was working on the sweater and some of the update, but I was sick for a few days. I'm still getting over it, but I feel a lot better now. <laughs> but here we have this part so far and I was watching All American right here, but it's on the ads right now. But we finished one front panel and I already attached it to the back panel. And now I am working on the other front panel. But yeah, hopefully we get done with this soon. 
and then I just have to do this. I have the hiccups right now. <laughs> then I just have to do the sleeves. Okay, so for the front panels, first I do the white part and then I add on the little border stripe afterwards. So I just finished making this one. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the rest of the sweater and then I'll show y'all how I do the little border stripe design. So now I attach this side onto the back panel. I can just let that slide. But now I'm just going to make these little stripes on here. So I'm just gonna attach my yarn on this end and then do half double crochet, single crochet, and decrease every five stitches. Um, half double crochets, decrease every five stitches, and then single crochet, decrease every five stitches, and then this is just a row of normal half double crochets. So now I just finished the striped rows as well, and now I'm probably gonna go ahead and do the border around the neckline and everything too, just so all of that is already complete. But yeah, now we have the front panels and the back panels done. Hey guys, so this is our sleeve progress so far. So basically this is it unfolded. I just have to fold it in half and this is what it is looking like. So I have, I think a little over, well, a little under halfway to go. But yeah. So now we finish one sleeve right here. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the sweater so I can see what it's looking like before I make the next sleeve. Hey guys, so I did finish the sweater. So it's a big jump, but here we go. Here's the front. You haven't seen the border yet. I didn't record myself finishing it. And then we have the sleeves all attached and everything. And then the infamous back. This is where the show is at. Yes. So I really love how it turned out. And I hope Haley and your friend, I hope you both love it. And Haley, you are amazing. If I was your friend, I would love you forever for getting this for me. But yeah, I love how it turned out. It was a really fun project to work on. I love doing projects where I use the computer and graphic design skills to make things too. <laughs> Cause I, if you don't know already, I do also love graphic design and art in general. So I love mixing that with crochet and that's why tapestry crochet is a love that I just now discovered because I was too scared to do it before. But now I'm not too scared. And at first whenever she asked, I was like, oh, I hope I know how to do it. I hope it turns out good because I've never done it for somebody before. I've only done tapestry crochet for myself. So now like hit me up. If y'all want some little tapestry crochet cardigans because I can make them for you and I'm confident in that now but I'm going to show y'all what it looks like on and don't worry I clean them before I give them to people I'm not going to be dirty with somebody else's cardigan <laughs> but here it is But let me show y'all while I'm down here too. Probably make a thumbnail too. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll do that on my other camera so it's better quality. But yeah, here is the finished Hello Kitty custom sweater. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted this video to show y'all the design process, the ups and the downs, the many times you have to redo things, including on the computer with graphics too. And I also did redo this part of the sweater because the first time I did this border, it was too long and I was just gonna leave it, but I was like, I can't do that. I'm gonna give her the best of the best. So I took it apart. I took this whole like, colorful strip apart and 
did it again and I really like the proportions of this one. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching the video and thank you guys for being patient with me with the amount of videos that I make. I was finishing up college and I did finish my first year, made all A's both semesters, so don't do me. We're smart and creative. Don't play with us. But yeah, it was an amazing first year. I'll probably do like a college video, like reflection for my first year of college video soon, if y'all would like that. But yeah, it was a really good year and I can't wait to finish it out in the next three or two years. But yeah, and then I got sick, my car got messed up, I broke my phone screen, it was just a lot. So that's why this sweater took so long to finish because y'all know I usually finish sweaters with the quickness, but this one still didn't take that long and I'm really happy with the outcome. But yeah, have a wonderful day and peace.